A reading from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgivings be offered for everyone, for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God, our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. For there is one God. There is also one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as ransom for all. This was the testimony at the proper time. For this I was appointed preacher and apostle. I am speaking the truth. I am not lying, teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. It is my wish, then, that in every place the men should pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or argument. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday is taken from the first letter of Paul to Timothy. We're reflecting on the theme of stewardship, the proper way of handling created goods, resources, in view of our loving service and friendship towards our brothers and sisters, especially the poor. This is the theme of the first reading from Amos. And in the second reading, we find Paul, or the one who wrote this letter in the name of Paul, telling Timothy and those who belong to the community of Timothy that we should pray for all. We should pray for all people. We should pray also for those in authority, those placed by God in positions of authority over the community. Why? This is an act of friendship. We pray for all because we care for all. This is again part of stewardship towards our brothers and sisters. But there is a special motivation for praying for those in authority, for the rulers. Why? So that they could lead the community in a life that is tranquil, in a life that is fair, just, humane. We pray for those in authority so that they will not manipulate other people. We pray for those in authority so that they will be good stewards of the resources that will be entrusted to them, not to own, <laughs> but to take care of for the service of the community. It is amazing that even during the time of St. Paul, this has been a concern already, and it continues to be a concern in our times. Stewardship. And we are appealing to those in authority. Do not forget that we are praying for you so that you will treat us as friends, so that hearing again the words of the prophet Amos, you will not be tempted to manipulate people, especially the poor, and you will not misuse created goods. When that happens, unfortunately, and it happens, peace disappears, tranquility disappears. That's why we pray for everyone, so that the whole community will be a community of stewards, caring for one another and responsible in the use of our resources, common resources for the common good. And the model presented to us by St. Paul is Jesus himself. Jesus who gave his life as a ransom for all. Jesus who became the mediator between God and humanity. Precisely by being a good steward. A good steward is selfless, 
not selfish. Let me repeat that. A good steward is selfless and not selfish. That's what we learn from Jesus, who gave everything of himself to save others. Out of caring for others, he lost everything and did not claim anything for himself. This is our prayer for all people. This is our prayer for those in authority. This is our prayer that we may find more and more people like Jesus, good stewards of creation and good stewards of their brothers and sisters. Let us, according to St. Paul, lift our hands, lift our hands in prayer, blameless hands, so that our lives may be filled with justice, peace, and tranquility.